Hey everyone, in this video I'll be discussing about the important muscles and the ligament attachment to the clavicle. So here I've made a clavicle. This one is the external end and this one is the acromial end. Uh, basically the clavicle has two borders. One is the anterior border and this one is the posterior border and uh, it has two surfaces that is present. One is the superior surface and the other one is the inferior surface. And uh, we can see uh, and we know that it has two ends. One is the sternal end and the other one is the ac uh, acromial end. So basically the sternal extreme it is the blunt and thickened and the medial end of the clavicle and it articulates with the clavicular notch of the sternum whereas the acromial extremity basically it is somewhat flattened and it is present laterally and it is at the lateral end of the clavicle. So here we are going to discuss the ligaments and the muscles attachment to the clavicle. Basically at the sternal end and inferiorly there is here we have a conoid uh, uh, here we have a costal sorry here we have a costal tuberosity costal tuberosity and it provides attachment for the costal ligament okay now in the body of the sha um, in the body of the clavicle we have subclavius groove which provides attachment for the sub clavian muscle okay now here we have neutrin foramen and at the acromial end we have a trapezoid tuberosity which provides attachment for the trapezoid ligament I hope it's clear and just here we have a conoid tubercle which provides attachment for the conoid ligament and uh, on the superior surface here we have the uh, attachment for the pectoralis major and here we have attachment for the deltoid muscle. So these are all the important attachments for the um, clavicle bone. And the clavicle bone, it is basically... Uh, it provides uh, it is basically uh, the most common fractured bone in our body and it is the first bone to begin with the ossification and basically this is subcutaneous and easily palpable along the entire length I hope all the muscles and all the ligaments are cleared from the clavicle and can you guess which bone is this basically uh, it's uh, difficult to recognize that it either it is the right clavicle or the left clavicle and uh, it is not far more difficult if you know that the sternal end is basically the uh, can uh, basically it is convex and uh, convex interiorly we can say that the sternal end is convex interiorly and that is the acromial end it is concave posteriorly it is the concave one so it is the convex one and you know that sternal end it is bit rounded and this one is the flattened so you can uh, then distinguish between the right clavicle or the left clavicle which is one of the important questions asked by the examiner i hope it's all clear